Uh, so John Lilly was one of the original 12, and he wanted to use it with dolphins, right? And uh, so how much of it is it about me? I guess he could move from that from an island. He moved, he moved to a the Caribbean, abandoned. wasn't it? Yeah. He was in the Caribbean. He moved to an abandoned bank building in uh, somewhere south of uh, Miami. I forget what they call that Pacific Grove or something like that. I forgot the name. Yeah. Coconut Grove, maybe or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. There was Elvar and one just one of his dolphins in his tank in the bank building. And, yeah. And the lake. And uh, he told me that. Uh, he set up all the instrumentation that was going to go underwater, and then the dolphins were supposed to move and explore it and make sounds and, yeah. and communicate. And it turns out that Elvar was uh, 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 very smart, of course, and he came over and pushed all the buttons before they even had time to set up the experiment. He pushed <laughs> all the buttons and, got, and, and tried all the signals and got bored with it and swam away. And then spit a spit a stream of seawater exactly 20 feet, which is the length of the link cable. So I think they decided to move, <laughs> Man. move things a little around a bit. But <laughs> as it turns out, he was one of the two uh, participants whose machines were, um, what should we say, retrieved by NIH at the end of the program as not having been uh, used sufficiently well to give them any evaluation data huh. or whatever. Everybody well, he, he, he was an unusual scientist. He was a crazy guy, yeah. <laughs> but you went down there to check it out? Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. Of course, he came to Cambridge in the summer of 63. Yeah. Huh.